Hey guys, we just made it to Colorado National Monument. We just did the drive from Fort Collins all the way over here to Grand Junction and we just arrived. It's like four and a half hour drive. Amazing drive, you guys. Like, it was beautiful. It was out of this world. So we're so excited to be here. We've never been here, so we're excited to see the park and explore. So this is our first weekend getaway since moving to Colorado and we figured we're gonna go all the way on the other side of the state for a weekend getaway. <laughs> so today we're doing Colorado National Monument and then tomorrow we're doing Black Canyon of Gunnarsson National Park. Never been there either so we're so excited to explore the side of Colorado. Alright you guys, we are starting our first hike, um, it's actually like right as we got into the park here, it's called Devil's Kitchen and it's actually really short. I think it's only like a mile. You go like out and then back. There's like a viewpoint. So that's our first stop. Devil's Kitchen, here we come. We got a lizard. There he is. I don't want to scare him. He moves quick. So it's back to hiking on like red dirts and sands. And we learned our lesson when we were in Utah last November, visiting all the national parks in Utah. Um, you have to wear black socks. Otherwise, if you wear white socks, they're stained for life, trust me. Like we officially stained like all our socks on that trip. <laughs> so lesson learned. First thing we did when we moved to Colorado, bought black socks. <laughs> We made it to Devil's Kitchen. There it is. Beautiful. You guys, this park is beautiful. Like, We've only gotten in like a mile since we've entered and this is like insanity. I can't wait to see like the rest of it. Just a little FYI. Um, it's kind of like you go in one side of the park and you exit the other. So we went in by Grand Junction and then you exit by Fruita. How do you say it? Fruita? Fruita? I don't know if I said that right. I might have butchered that, so my apologies. But that's where you exit and it's like um, 23 miles from one entrance to the other. So yeah, it's pretty awesome so far. We're just getting started. So let's appreciate this entire patch of prickly pear cactus. It's pretty amazing. <laughs> switchbacks back and forth and you were just rising as we keep climbing here it's just it's crazy it's pretty amazing around, with me, guess we found the hidden view i think that's what it's called or loop i don't know it's so cool it's right at the end of serpent's trail on the other side so if you're here there's not really parking you kind of have to pull off so cool spot All right, so now we are on the Ute Canyon Trail. It's just a short little trail. It just gives you some really close up overlooks here of the canyon. So we're gonna make some lunch here and we're trying to find a picnic table somewhere, but there's like no picnic tables um, like in the areas we're at. So we're gonna just eat out of the back of our Jeep and that's lunch. <laughs> Not a bad view for lunch though, so can't complain. We're making some sub sandwiches. And then we picked up some of these Boulder Canyon chips. And they're actually pretty good. So, vinegar and sea salt. Cheers. Got my ZBS too. <laughs> my favorite. We found these little rocks with a view. So, can't find a picnic table? You just make your own. Is it not strange how we 
that was like a perfect little lunch spot. Now back on to the hiking trails. <laughs> We're at Coke Oven Trail. It's only point two miles, like one way. It's super short. <laughs> Dang, you guys, this is a gorgeous hike. Don't miss this one. You know, look at this, you guys. Oh my God, it's absolutely gorgeous here. Here we are, the viewpoint of a Coke oven. Wow, beautiful. Coming back up the trail. As you can see, I'm panting. Switch backs up, but it's worth it, so definitely do it. Hi, so we're getting to the Colorado National Monument area. This is like the big focal point of the park. Check out this view, you guys. It's gorgeous. And this is crazy. There's people on top of that. There's like a little bit of people running around up there. I'm like, how did you even get over there? <laughs> oh, I have no idea what's going on, but that's pretty cool. This is pretty sweet. Okay, so I guess that is totally a thing. Look at this, you guys. Rock climbing. That would be epic. Next hike, one mile round trip, Otto's Trail. So one thing about this park I'm absolutely loving, the short hikes to amazing views. So this is the view. It's the other side of the monument. Absolutely gorgeous. Wow. Definitely do autos. It's the other side of the monument. And then of course there's the monument overlook. So you get like both perspectives. Definitely saved the best for last. Like this is getting towards the end now. Good spot to just sit have a little bit of a drink and just take in the views and the sunshine. That sunshine, you guys, is hot, so loving it. Cheers. Cheers. So we're wrapping up our time here in Colorado National Monument and right there, is Balanced Rock. Oh my God, you guys, get it. Look at mama and babies. Oh, they're beautiful. before we were leaving Balanced Rock, we were just saying like, oh, I would really love to see some sheep. And literally right around the corner, right there the was the mama and the three babies. <sighs> now we just left the park. So it was like the perfect way to end our time here in Colorado National Monument. So now we're gonna head to our hotel and check in because we're staying in Grand Junction for the night. We are headed to downtown Grand Junction. We're just gonna walk around and check it out. It's so nice out, so definitely wanna be outside. Downtown and the trees are blooming and they smell so good. It's kinda like a lilac, but not really. It's so pretty, everything's getting so green. Cute. This downtown area is so cute. Everything is closed at five o'clock though. So it's really a bummer. There was so many cute shops I wanted to like check out, but everything was closed. So I guess we're just gonna have to go to the brewery. <laughs> we are at the Ale House. 
um, we left downtown because the brewery we wanted to go to was like a line out the door. It was crazy. So hopefully we can get in here. Guys, this place is stinking cute. Look at this. Wow. So India. It's a good day. The ale house was so good. That we shared the ahi tuna wrap. I've never had ahi tuna in a wrap, and it was really good. They had really good like seasonings and dressings in it, and it was really good. Um, and then their wine and beer, it was, it was a good spot. So if you're in Grand Junction, highly recommend the Ale House. We weren't ready to go back to our room, and we kind of did downtown, and we decided, you know what, we're gonna go back to Colorado National Monument and just do a sunset cruise through the park. Probably not really stop unless we get to a point where there's a really good sunset. There is a little overcast that just rolled in, so I don't know how great the sunset will be, but I figured, hey, why not? We're here, it's only 6.30, let's go take one more stroll through the park, and then we'll call her a night. So that's what we're gonna do. Bye, guys. Oh, wow. We just got in the park. There's so many babies. Ooh. Oh my! Ah. They're feisty on a Saturday night. <laughs> It's like the guy in open season. <laughs> there he is. We have a one horn deer, you guys. Sorry to hear about your horn loss. <laughs> Aw, poor guy. It's okay, buddy. <laughs> Evening is like always oh, perfect time for wildlife viewing. Gotta watch open season. It's Elliot. It's Elliot. It's Elliot. It was Elliot. <laughs> if you haven't seen it, that's the reference. <laughs> Holy bucket. Look at this guy. Oh, that's grandpa. They flew out in front of this truck. Please Poor guy me. almost hit him. <laughs> oh, guys, it's right there. He's huge. <laughs> just talking about how all day we've seen um, the younger sheep with babies and whatnot, not like the full horns, and then that happened. Literally right after we said that, like those were like grandpa and dad who've been around a while. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you guys, that is a wrap here at Colorado National Monument. So we didn't get in our sunset. Too much cloud cover came in this evening, however, the wildlife is crazy. So highly recommend coming if you have time to do a loop through the park at evening time when the sun is setting because the deer, the sheep, they're all out. So thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, of course let me know. And the weekend's not over yet. Tomorrow we're off to the Black Canyon of Gunnison National Park. So stay tuned for that vlog. New one, haven't been to that one either. Knocking out those national parks. That's what they're here for, for us to explore. So thanks so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for future vlogs. We'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye. Bye. <laughs>